Good day everyone. Topic for today is all about CO2 fire extinguishing system. First, procedure how to use this system. Second, how to secure bottles during dry dock or maintenance. Third, identifying alarms. Fourth, resetting circuit breaker trips during alarm testing. CO2 fire extinguishing system is the main extinguishing system used to extinguish fire in engine room, and for LPG ships this includes compressor and motor room by means of CO2 or carbon dioxide gas. The system consists of, first, pilot CO2 cylinder, second, CO2 cylinder, third, POD valve or pressure and manual main operating valve, fourth, Nozzles going to all parts of engine room. There is two activation point. First fire station room, and second at CO2 room. There is a three box for CO2 release door. For engine room, compressor room, and motor room. When you open the door, there is a limit switch, which triggers the audible sounder for engine room. Inside that door where the pilot cylinder is located, the purpose of that pilot cylinder when you open it including manual valve. It will triggers to open the all CO2 cylinder bottle and main valve going directly to engine room to extinguish fire. This time we actual opening the door. And we need to observe the actual sound of CO2 audible sounder at engine room. This is also actual sound of CO2 audible sounder at compressor room during opening the activation door. This is also actual sound of CO2 audible sounder at motor room during opening the activation door. We are here in CO2 room which is the second activation point. Before entering this room you can start manually the exhaust fan. By the way, it is also automatically run the exhaust fan when you open this main door. Just wait a couple of minutes to run the exhaust fan to ventilate this CO2 room. As you can see this 128 CO2 cylinder bottles intended for engine room. 15 bottles for the compressor room. And 4 bottles for motor room. You can see also the three activation boxes. The pressure manual operating main isolation valve also called POD. Each valve is equipped with the limit switch that will triggers the breaker trips or turn off the power supply of fan and other machineries. Based on this diagram, there are three activation boxes, named, engine room, compressor room, and motor room. During activation in engine room, pilot cylinder will open the CO2 bottle and activate the main valve then the CO2 will go directly to the nozzle to extinguish the fire at engine room.
during maintenance, or dry dock. This valve is intended for connection of airline, to blow the pipeline, and check the nozzles for blockage. During maintenance, or dry dock, each CO2 cylinder bottle's valves need to secure with a safety pin, to avoid unexpected release of CO2. Also in case of emergency failure of automatic opening of CO2 bottles, there is an option that you can manually open each CO2 cylinder bottles using manual lever. Just put the lever on the top and pull. Do that in all bottles. Time delay unit bypass valve is used if the CO2 not discharge even after 40 seconds due to malfunction of time delay valve. You need to open this valve. This is the limit switch that we discussed earlier. The lever of the switch is pushed by the valve. The main valve can open manual in case automatic is malfunctioned. Just turn valve wheel counterclockwise. And the limit switch signal to the switchboard to turn off the fan circuit breakers. Pipe copper tube below this valve is the triggered pressure to open this valve automatically. The pressure is coming from the pilot cylinder. This valve normal is triggered by pressure that's why it's called pressure operating main valve or POD. These are the breakers that trips during CO2 main valve activates. As you can see there is a mark CT1 on the top of circuit breaker, CT1 for engine room machinery. CT2 is for compressor fans. CT3 it for motor room fans and airlock. Take a look for the overview of engine room where the nozzles are installed on the top. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell for more updates. Also like us on Facebook Barku TV.